All right, yes, you're welcome to the Balanced Diet Hotel Entertainment. Hope so, you said do that exercise with Papa Jojo because we on top of the Balanced Diet Hotel Entertainment, we know they always, ever, ever miss that exercise with Papa Jojo, very entertaining one. Now, speaking of exercise and art, we know so we get different ways to display um, to display our artistic talent. And now, this next segment we want to show you. So, now, one of um, the artistic ways where we get with Justice Okon, because he's a martial artist, um, quote-unquote, and he's showing us how he himself, they express his own form of art. Stay with us. They choose to call me Shadow. I wonder why, but <laughs> uh, we teach martial arts at Royal Arts Academy. Uh, it's my own kind of art. It's called Shadow Martial Art, where you don't even need to get ready. You just play around, whatever it is. If you, if you, if you, if you want to deliver a punch, I don't need to block. I can just decide to just step out. I can walk instead. And definitely, you won't land a punch. That's how we do it. It's shadow Martial Art. So why? Uh, basically, I uh, noticed that uh, <laughs> Whenever I watch a martial art film in Hollywood, I'm like, what, what, the, what is this? What is this? But uh, you know, it wouldn't make enough sense if you stay outside the fold and criticize. You will, see, you will be seen as an Asa. So I decided to come around here and see what I can do. And I've been teaching here for a couple of times now, and we've been able to build a lot of martial artists. So if you want anything martial arts history, we have enough people that can deliver it in real time. Talk about profits. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it transcends in cash at hand now, but when we talk about confidence, and you know it's priceless. So the confidence that I've been able to inculcate uh, through martial arts history has really helped me a whole lot in so doing. So if I want to negotiate with you, I don't even care. I'll look you straight in the face and tell you what I want. And that is it. If you give me that, that's a profit for me. You know that uh, whatever we capture in the motion, in the, uh, motion picture industry, uh, we, we, we capture life itself. And you know, combat is part of life. We cannot miss that part. But due to the injury attached to it, because basically we, have, we want to fight the conflict of interest and we try to set it with a fist. And you know, it's make-believe, not necessarily uh, the art itself. It's not real. So you need to really know, if you know the art, you can choreograph it. You can work with the choreography, with the guideline alongside with it. So martial art basically has really been helpful, but we can really do it. You need professional to choreograph it so that you won't incur more injury on set. Uh, you see, when I, be, before, before I started teaching the art itself and I want to make uh, others come into it, I make sure that I, I invented what I call uh, the baseless punch and kicks, the baseless attack per se. So I can hit and you feel the hit. You, you, you hear the sound, but you won't feel the pain. So we've been able to walk uh, on set, back set, and every. So, and I've doubled a lot. We've, we've seen that in real time and uh, done a lot of jobs too. I did uh, the choreography on the film, uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door. Where I had to work with uh, Honorable Desmond Elliott, and they gave me the privilege to choreograph everything. And you can see, uh, if you go back and watch the film, you see everything there looks so real, but it wasn't that real. But because uh, a good choreographer was behind it. If you wake up and say you want to become a martial artist, there's a journey to it. So if you're ready to take the part and be consistent, then <laughs> martial art will be yours because it's just, it's basically, yeah, it's just a mastery of movement. So if you practice your movement and try to master it every day, then you are a martial artist. <laughs> so it's master of movement. It depends on what you want. If you, you, you can, everybody's a martial artist, basically. But do you know, if you come to the realization of that, the fact that you are a martial artist, then you know where to narrow it down. You want to narrow it down to my, I was, I was, I was bulkier than this. And I used it like, okay, this martial art, I want to do this. And uh, I used to have weakness for ladies. But, but now, martial art has really helped me. <laughs> you, 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 it will be easier to say this uh, 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 Catholic priest than to say this me next time around. So I really master different areas in terms of martial arts. Okay. Just declare that you're a martial artist and follow the journey so that you are one. Call what, nine? Show me. Uh -huh. And where is the ten? <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.